welcome to Angela 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. So a couple things before we get started with your reading. Uh, one, this is uh, a general reading, may not resonate with every Taurus out there, but if it does resonate, there is an extended reading link below. I also want to say, um, you know, don't force it if it doesn't resonate. You can check out your other signs, your moon sign, your rising, or your Venus. There is a playlist link below in the description box, okay? So the second thing that I have for you is that you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I do post daily messages, so uh, check that out if you like. The information's in the description box, and uh, so follow me if you like. So with that, Taurus, let's just get started with your reading. I'm going to pull... The energy here, let's see what is upcoming here for Taurus. What is Taurus needing to know? What's the energy here for Taurus? Messages for Taurus. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. Okay. So I'm definitely picking up strongly here um, uh, a situation with somebody here who's very dear to your heart. Can be love, can be somebody else in your life, all right? So give me just a moment, Taurus. I just want to hone in on the energy here. Okay. You know, what I'm strongly picking up here for you, Taurus, I feel there's somebody that is definitely heavily on your mind. Um, I feel that, that um, and I feel it's reciprocal. I feel this person is thinking about you as well. Could be dealing with a Gemini here. I feel that this is somebody who, I feel this is somebody who's making a decision to come towards you with communication. I'm definitely seeing a lot of communication here. You have the Eight of Wands. You also have here the Knight of Swords, all right? Now, I'm going to say that um, this is somebody I feel that uh, may have walked away, okay, from you. Or you may have walked away from this person here because you do have the Eight of Cups. So, I do see an energy here of somebody returning, okay, after somebody walked away here in the connection. Now, you do have the Nine of Swords, I feel like this person may be a bit worried, um, and that's why this person is rushing towards you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, uh, and like I said, strong Gemini. You also have here strong um, Cancerian and Pisces, okay? So you have the moon card here. All right. I feel somebody is returning here. Maybe somebody in the past who didn't give you a whole lot of clarity, um, you know, I feel that too with this moon energy. It's really showing me here. Somebody's coming towards you and I feel like you have, you're, you're not content with this situation and I feel, Taurus, you're, you're a little bit held back, okay, from this person when they show up. And I feel the reason you're held back is because I feel this is somebody who maybe didn't stick around long in the past or somebody who, you know, wasn't really clear about their intentions and I feel like you have a fear of getting hurt from this person. And what I'm going to say, too, with that, lovers, I, I feel there's a decision here you're having to make. Now, you may have other people around you that I'm going to say here, other offers here with this Three of Cups. I do see your energy here is a bit held back, especially, too, with this uh, Strength card. Some of you, this could be about pride, too, pride and ego. You know, maybe this person didn't treat you right. Maybe you decided to take a new path here with the Fool card. Okay, now um, let's clarify the cards. Let's see where this is going. Do I have my deck? Oh, no, I don't have it upside down. Okay, let's see where all of this is going here. Now, you know, there could be more than one person here. I'm just going to say, you know, if you just started dating or maybe you started talking with somebody here, uh, that could be why you're reluctant to, you know, entertain this offer from this person. We also got Scorpio Pisces energy and Aries Leo Sag, if I didn't call those out. 
So let's clarify here um, why the Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Nine of Swords are here, please. I feel that it's this person here, they're rushing towards you. Okay, you have the Empress, the Seven of Wands, okay, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you're definitely picking up your energy and the Four of Wands. So they may feel your energy here right now. They may see um, that you're doing well, okay, as this Empress. It's not male, about male or female. Female, it's about the energy. I feel like they may be seeing, you know, a change in you, maybe a lot of spiritual growth, maybe seeing um, that you've held back. Maybe you decided here to, you know, focus on your money, your career. You know, you're in a really, it feels like really grounded energy. It feels like your person here is somebody who could be a bit impulsive. Like I said, somebody in the past who didn't stick around. Uh, but I see this person... Uh, is seeing some sort of growth or change in you. And I also feel there's also to possibly here a spiritual connection between the two of you. This could be your twin flame as well. You do have the lovers and the four of wands, okay? So this could be a situation where, you know, this person wasn't, uh, you know, ready to move forward with a relationship in the past. I'm going to say it feels like whatever those challenges were, or those burdens, it feels like, Maybe this person is ready, but let's see how this progresses. Why is the uh, moon card and the lover's card here, please? Why is the moon card and the lover's card here, please? Why is the moon card and the lover's card here, please? Okay, you have the seven of pentacles. You have the king of swords. Three of pentacles, okay. Okay. So what I get here, look at that. Yeah, the strength card. You may have pulled back your energy from this person. Like I said, somebody walked away here in the connection, uh, whether it was you or your person. I feel this person's returning. I feel since the time you and this person have been away from each other, this person has taken a lot of time um, to reflect on the situation, to think about things. I feel that this person is coming back around wanting to work on things. I feel like this person is hoping that you're going to be receptive here. Okay, you could be dealing with another earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. But let's clarify why the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands is there. Now, um, what I'll do as well after uh, this, I'm going to pull three more cards. And then I'm going to ask what your person is thinking or feeling about you, this person. I'm going to say this person. And uh, then in the extended, we'll explore more what their upcoming actions are, intentions, love messages, and guidance. And since I do feel like there is other opportunities around you, I will look at new love as well. So why is the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands here, please? You have the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is why I feel there is worry here. Uh, it's exactly what I said before here. You have the Page of Swords. I feel like this person has been spying on you. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you're not currently dating. I feel this is somebody in the past who uh, maybe didn't put in the effort or somebody who didn't stick around long. Or I'm also picking up an on and off relationship here. Okay, this could be somebody you've been on and off with, you've invested some time with. But I see that this person here has been spying on you, all right? Since the two, since the things have ended with you and this person, I see this person has been spying on you and they're thinking about you. There's a very, very strong connection. Like I said, I do feel this could be a twin flame connection, could be dealing with a Gemini. But I see that this is somebody who has never forgotten you, basically. And I feel like since things ended now, they're starting to see things in a different light. Like, I feel like they're hopeful um, about things between you and them. Now, you have the two of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the nine of swords. This is what I see here. Like I said, I feel this person's coming back around. You're going to receive some sort of communication from this person. And I feel that you are having a hard time with this. Like I said, maybe not feeling completely content 
about this person or, you know, maybe even communicating with this person because I feel like you're remembering the past, maybe remembering that this person, maybe they didn't value, value you, maybe this person crossed your boundaries, uh, maybe this person here, you know, made you feel alone. Um, like I said, I feel there could be some pride and ego there and I feel, you know, could definitely be warranted if this is, how, if this person treated you this way, but I do see here this person coming back around. So let's see what the potential is here for you, Taurus. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What is the potential here for Taurus? There you are, queen of pentacles, sitting pretty. You have Queen of Pentacles twice, so you may be doing really good uh, right now in career and money, or you're just in a really grounded state here. Know your worth. You have the Seven of Wands as well, which I believe Seven of Wands came out somewhere. You have the Tower, oh, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so interesting. Let's see what you've got here. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Six of Swords. And you have the Four of Wands. Okay. You know what I feel here, Taurus? This person's coming back for a reason. I feel it's divine intervention here, okay, with the Tower. I also feel here it's fate with the Wheel. So... I feel that you're in a good place here, Taurus. I feel this person's coming back around. Could be a fire sign. This person's coming back around, okay? They're gonna they're gonna come back around. They're gonna try and fight for this, all right? But and I feel like maybe you're not expecting this, okay? There's definitely worry on your mind about it. I feel for some of you, you're going to move on. I'm just going to say, I feel for some of you, you're going to move on from this connection. This is giving you an opportunity to close out the cycle with this person, all right? Because I do see another offer here. I do see um, potentially a new relationship. So you, if you have other offers, you know, you may, there may already be somebody else that you're interested in. I feel like you may move on. But for some of you, I feel that, uh, this may be an opportunity for you and this person to rebuild what you had, to revisit what you have. Some of you, this is a twin flame connection. And um, I feel that there's an opportunity for you and this person to get through what has happened in the past, all right? I feel it could go either way. I'm quite honest with you. Uh, it's like a 50-50 uh, split here. Some of you, I feel, are going to move on, okay? You're going to move on from this person because I feel like you can't forget what happened in the past. And for some of you, I feel, um, you know, there's a, an opportunity here, okay, to revisit this. But I'm going to see what your person is thinking or feeling about you then I'll take it to the extended. In the extended, I'll look at this person and I'm gonna look at new love as well. So let's see um, what this person is thinking or feeling about you. Okay. So bottom of the deck here, look at that, the Empress again. They definitely are seeing you as somebody uh, very kind, very giving, very nurturing. You may be the mother or father of their child. They're also seeing you as somebody uh, where there's a lot of potential, right? A lot of growth. You may be good, uh, you know, in the home, all right? Um, but I definitely see that they're feeling like there could be a new beginning where there's a lot of potential. I feel like this person here, if this is somebody who was holding back in the past, all right, they could have had other challenges in their life, okay, or burdens, things that um, were holding them back in the past, but I feel that's changing. I feel they're releasing that. That's the end here. I do see that this person here is going to send you some sort of message here. Like I said, I see them coming towards you with communication. Um... I see this person reaching out to you, okay? So uh, with that, Taurus, I'm going to take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. 
and I'm sending you angel love.